Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about computed properties. Okay, so in previous tutorials I've shown you that we can define methods on this Vue.js instance right here. And we can call those methods from this HTML template that we create, which might return to us a string which is then rendered to the DOM, right? But uh, I want to show you one alternative way of doing this, which is a lot of the time more efficient and quicker, and that is computed properties. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to do a quick little example and show you the difference between using methods and computed properties. So we've got two buttons right here, right? We've got one that says add to A and one that says add to B. And when you click on A, we've got this click event right here, which is saying A++, so adding one to A. And when you click on B, we've got B++, which is adding one to B. Now, these properties right here are defined on the view instance. You can see A and B, they start off at zero. We've also got age defined, which is 20, right? So very simple so far. So when we click this, it's going to add to A, click this, add to B. Then we're also outputting A and B right here in these paragraph tags, right? So let's just have a quick look at how this looks so far. And if we refresh, add to A, A goes up, add to B, B goes up, right? Very simple. So now what we want to do is we want to output the age which is added to A and the age which is added to B. And remember age is defined here, 20. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is now another P tag and I'm gonna say age plus A is equal to, and then we're gonna do a method in a minute and it's gonna be called add to A, right? So add to A and we have to call it using those parentheses. So let's do the same now for B. I'll copy this and paste it down below and just change age plus b is add to b right so what these are going to do is take the age of 20 and they're going to add whatever the value of a is and output it here or whatever the value of b is and output it here right so just a simple formula so let's make those two methods first of all so if we go to the view instance we can define now add to a and that is going to be a function and in this function what we are going to do is return this dot a which is this thing right here so it's going to grab the current value of a and add it to this dot age right so adding it to 20 so if a is 3 then this is going to be 20 plus 3 which is 23 right so i want to do the same for b so let's do a little comma and i'm going to copy this dude right here paste it down below and change this to add to b and this time we want this plus b plus this plus a uh, this dot b plus this dot age okay so if we save that and check it out in the browser you can see that currently because a and b are both zero age plus a is 20 and age plus b is 20. if we add to a you can see this going up right and if we add to b you can see this going up now how does this work well Every time a value changes, whether that's A or B, Vue.js is going to look at these functions right here, add to A and add to B, and it's going to run them both, okay? Every time a value changes. So it doesn't matter that we might just change A and B doesn't change, this still runs. Even though technically it doesn't really need to because the value of B is still the same and this is still going to be the same A plus B, uh, age plus B rather. And I can demonstrate that by doing a quick console.log here. So I'll say console.log and we'll say in here, um, add to A, right? So we know that this function has run. And then I'm going to do the same down here, except I'm going to change this to add to B. So if I save this now, let's check it out. Every time I press this button, add to A, check it out, add to B was run and Add to, sorry, add to A was run and add to B was run. So both of those functions ran, even though I'm only clicking add to A and changing A. And the same goes if I add to B. Both of those functions run, when really only one of them needs to run, either add to A or add to B. So to make this more efficient, we can use computed properties, which are very similar to methods, but this is only ever going to update when one of these values updates. Okay, so add to a computed property will only run when we change a and add to b computed property will only run when we add to b when we change this right so let's see how this works very similar to methods so we'll say computed and this is going to be an object 
and basically all we're going to do here is copy these two and we're going to paste them down here like this and they're exactly the same there's no difference whatsoever they're doing the same things right but what we're going to do is comment all of this out now so that the methods no longer run and instead it's computed properties now currently we get an error i've just saved this and there's an error and it says add to a is not a function so it's looking here at this add to a and it's saying okay that's a method that's a function which is defined on the view instance so i'll go and find it and it cannot find it that's because we've commented them out so how do we find the computed properties well pretty simply all we do is take off the parenthesis then this is going to find the add to a computed property and the add to b computed property right so if we save that now then we no longer get those errors and they run to begin with both of those computed properties run to begin with that's why we're seeing this message but then when we click add to a check it out only add to a runs so it's kind of watching this a variable and when it changes it reruns the add to a method right so if we now do add to b it's only rerunning this method this computed property makes sense so it's more efficient to use a computed property a lot of the time than a method because Vue.js doesn't know when it comes to methods which ones it needs to run okay depending on what has updated but computed properties do they kind of watch the variables that they need to be computed to be calculated and they only run when needed makes sense so there we go that is computed properties and we will probably use these again in the future